hello everyone you welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello welcome my name is dolapo if you're an old subscriber welcome back and thank you for clicking in this video we'll be learning how to make feather flowers i got this request from one of you and uh, i remember i have this particular video in my archive and i decided to share with you all you could make a beautiful headpiece from feather flowers you could use it to embellish your fascinator your turbans your headpiece okay so i'm just going to show you the process of how to make feather flowers so to start with i'm making use of a fabric the fabric in particular i'm using is the scuba fabric and i'm using the zigzag scissors to cut it out i actually drew circles on the fabric using a round object before i cut it out and i have my feathers okay so this is the way my feather came and i'm trying to pluck each um, leave like that as you can see so I just pluck all the leaves or all the feathers like this and I'm going to just um, create the shape just cut out trim to get a particular shape that I want so you may need to keep watching so you see really what I did okay so I have this like this and I'm going to repeat this on the other pieces look at the way I'm just cutting with the straight scissors to form something uh, really really nice I'm cutting it in form of uh, a kite. Okay, that's the exact shape I have, something like a kite. So you could form any shape of choice. So I'll just proceed to do that for all of them and then we'll proceed. So I've cut out the number of um, a quite number of feathers in the shape that I want and I'm going to get the piece of fabric that I cut earlier. I had to reduce it to a smaller one so that it doesn't look too big under the feather uh, under the flower. All right, so I have my alt glue, my alt glue ready and I just went ahead to cut off the stems and then I'll be using my alt glue to fix these feathers on the scuba fabric okay as you can see I started arranging the feathers on the piece of fabric I'll just continue to do that until I'm satisfied with what I want so uh, we did like six, five to six feathers on this uh, one. If you want another layer, please repeat the same procedure and go around again the second time, okay? So I'll just do it like that. I'll just continue like that and um, and this is what we have. As you can see, I'm done arranging the four set. I'm going to keep on doing this to uh, make it um, multiples. Like I said, like, it could be of any shape and you could make it fuller. You could make another step if you want it um, to have extra layers, okay? Then you can go ahead and embellish this um, center with whatever. I have a bit. It could be anything, okay? This is just for the uh, tutorial purpose, all right? So I have them like this and this could be used to embellish your headpiece or your fascinator or even turbans if you want to. So you can just go ahead and watch what I did to embellish or how I embellished um, my own fascinator. I use the fascinator base in this video. I have a video that explains how to coil um, a feather like this. This particular feather is called the ostrich. And I'm using the hair coiler to coil it, you know. I have a detailed video that shows how to do that. I will leave the link in the description box below, okay? So once my ostrich quills are ready, I'm going to just proceed to embellish or arrange them on the fascinator base. The real purpose of this video is to show you how to make fa uh, feathered flowers, alright? But I'll just show you the process of how I embellish this fascinator base with the flowers and this ostrich quill. Please keep watching. 
So you can see me putting the end of the ostrich feather together, you know, just to form something. So I put the ends of the ostrich kale feather together just to tie the ends while I proceed. Just put them together like this and I tie and I tie the ends. So I'm, at this point, I'm attaching the bed cage net to it, and you know the ostrich kill serve as a framework or like a structure for this to be done. Having done with the arrangement of the bed cage net, I'm going to proceed to attach to attach the flowers to those spots you can see. Like I said earlier, you could form any headpiece with this. You could make anything with this, okay? It's just a tutorial showing how to make feathers and how to make your arrangement just in case you want to make this particular style. So this is the back view of the headpiece. You could also arrange the same feathers to cover up or use any other accessories just to cover up those parts, okay? Okay, so since I'm using it on the fascinator base, I'll just go ahead and embellish the inside. I will cover up with fabric and do all that is needed to be done for the headpiece to be ready, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. It was useful to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.